Greetings, fellow people. It is I, Jag, and I wanted to make a quick thank you and update video. Thanks to everyone who helped the channel reach over 100 subscribers. This is a pleasant surprise as I only know around 4 of the subscribers and the rest must have seen my content and thought I might be worth something without any obligations to being friends with me before the channel started. I do have to owe a lot of the initial success of the channel to the news of Nintendo announcing the 3DS eShop closure right as I released my video about the 3DS. I was quite lucky that as soon as I started wrapping up the production of the 3DS video, 3DS became a mainstream topic of discussion again. Even if that video and its reaction is the strongest I'll get in a while, I still am pretty proud of it. Some of my other videos have done reasonably well for a new channel as well, so I thank those who have watched those videos. Now with the thanks out of the way, here are some updates. Right now I am currently working on a No More Heroes review. I initially thought it would be a relatively simple and quick video to make. However, with the video now looking like it's going to be between 40 to 50 minutes instead of 15 to 25 minutes long, this naturally means that I still have a long way to go. One of the reasons I wanted to put out the video you're watching right now is honestly a buffer period to show that I am still doing stuff and trying to make the content as quickly as I reasonably can. With the point of being quick, I also want to try and refine many elements within the videos, which I feel have been rough around the edges at times. I want to improve line delivery with speed, clarity, and fewer mistakes. The No More Heroes review is still going to be mostly from the previous content philosophy of getting things out as quickly as possible since it already takes enough time as is. I have already recorded all of my lines and half of the video is already edited, so I don't see it being a good time budget to adjust everything. I still think the video will be worth watching, of course, it's just that I'm really excited to see what might be possible in the level of quality by trying to hone in on some skills and content creation strategies. My final update is by opening up the option for people to suggest video games for things like a review. I always appreciate comments where people share their experiences on whatever video topics I make. When people express themselves in even a sentence or two, it makes me feel like perhaps I was successful in evoking a feeling from the audience. I think from this, if people see my content in the way I do things and then suggest I look at something, I like the idea of people pitching in to make this channel interesting for themselves. I have a large pool of games and concepts available to me because of the hardware I own. I recently built a Mr. FPGA that can play anything from the PS1 and downward with near perfect accuracy, especially when paired with a CRT TV. Anything above a PS1 I also own, so I can play the most retro of games to the most modern. The one blind spot I have is for the lesser known and infamous hardware, but I'm guessing there won't be too many complaints about the lack of 3DO representation on the channel. The other potential issue would be with old PC games that can't run well or at all on the Mister and weren't designed for a modern PC like mine. I am hoping in those cases there will be emulators or other close to authentic ways to experience those games well. Heck, I even have a few PC CRT monitors so that I can play older games the way they were intended or at least were designed with CRT still being relevant in mind as opposed to strictly flat panels with 16x9 aspect ratios. I want to use CRTs as much as possible because I think the technology is so cool, but that's a topic for another video. I'll still have my own video ideas, of course, and I probably wouldn't look at any games or things that personally don't interest me, but I thought I'd just put it out there that I'm open to hearing people offer game ideas for videos. As always, I also appreciate constructive criticism and affirmations on what I'm doing for this channel, so don't be afraid to comment. With all that out of the way, I want to say I'm grateful for the response the channel has received so far, and I hope the channel and myself can grow in quality. I hope you all have a wonderful morning, evening, or afternoon. Take care.